There is so much talent right here in the Tri-State. We like to highlight them from time to time. Each month we choose nine people who represent the best and brightest in their industry. These are the next nine local leaders in finance. They were chosen from among dozens of nominations. We celebrated them last night at the Backstage Event Center. And tonight, I'm joined by two of the winners right now. April Pope, the CEO of April Pope Financial, and Savon Gibson, the CEO of Empire Consulting, LLC. I want to thank you both for joining us and congratulate you. Thank so, you. Thank you for Would you each, us. you bet, would you meet each mind telling me a little bit about what you do? Sure. Well, mm -hmm. thanks for having me. Yes, uh, as I, you mentioned, I'm with April Pope Financial, so I'm an actual financial advisor. Uh, here locally in the city, I work with families, and really what I'm excited about is working with small business owners. Okay. So I help them get their first 401k started. So mm -hmm. it's such a neat um, opportunity to help all of the small businesses we have here locally in Cincinnati. Kind of the wind beneath their wings. Yes. All yes. right, all right. <laughs> I like to think of it that way. That's <laughs> yeah. nice. Thank you. <laughs> Savon. Yes, I'm with Empire Consulting LLC, and what I do is I do monthly workshops financial literacy workshops at the Youth Detention Center, mm -hmm. and I also do them at the main library. And what the goal is, is just teaching our youth on financial freedom and generational wealth. Yeah, I, on that note, how important is it to get not just youth, but families talking about where they are with their bank accounts, with their 401ks, and just where they're setting themselves up financially? Oh, it's so important. Yeah. It's so important, and especially in Cincinnati. We have we are one of the greatest cities in the world. And so mm -hmm. to, to be that, we need to be able to take care of our finances and we need to be able to take care of our families. And it's more, as Savon was saying, it's generational wealth. We don't want to just do it for right now. We need to know where we are. It's a comprehensive plan. We need to know everything. And so I think that's why myself, Savon as well, you know, we're actually going, finishing my coursework for the Certified Financial Planner. Mm -hmm. Went to be at CFP yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I want to help families do the entire picture, put that whole plan together. So they can live a great life. Savon, if you have one message to impart to youth, what is it? One message to impart mm -hmm. to the youth mm -hmm. is just not to focus on microwave money, right now money, okay, but crockpot money, mm -hmm. ah. the long term, generational wealth. You know, if you put something in a crockpot, it has a savory taste to it. You can, you enjoy it more. Mm -hmm. But. I, I believe now the youth are more focused on right now money. Okay. And we have to think long term. Yeah, and that's actually good for everybody. <laughs> yes. uh, last question, and we have about 30 seconds left. Uh, why is a strong finance presence so important for the city of Cincinnati? Hmm, I think if we're going to attract families and want them to stay here in the city and get young families here, we have to have a strong financial presence um, in leadership, on the streets, in the classrooms, with teachers, with everything have to have a strong financial background to have a strong city. Okay, and so I, I agree, and also when you look at the tail of the two cities, having a strong financial background is really focused on diversifying and including everyone. Mm -hmm. Because if we're all financially educated, then we can all participate in the enjoyments of the city. There's a lot of things going on in the city and everyone wants to be a part of it, but it takes finances. Yes, all absolutely. Right. Congratulations on Thank you. your thanks acknowledgement again. yesterday and thanks for joining us today. Right. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. You can read more about each of the winners right now on WCPO.com and we're currently taking nominations for March's Next Nine in the field of education. Submit your nominations right on our website.